Good morning. It is July 27th and <laughs> Jack comes home from like his like two week vacation um, tomorrow. And I really hope I get to see him tomorrow. I'm not fully sure what the plan is, but I'm kind of just planning that I see him tomorrow, like planning ahead. And so since he's been gone, I've been trying to like um, up my game and my cooking skills because he thinks I'm a horrible cook and I'm like, no, I'm trying to be wifed up someday, you know? So I got to work a little bit. And so he likes banana bread. So that's what we're gonna try and make today. It's some banana bread to um, improve my cooking skills. So this is just a little insight of what I'll be doing for three months next year. That's what it is. <laughs> I'll see you at home. Alrighty, so we are back. We want the recipe here, so let's go going. It is now time to put it in the oven. Looks like there's a change of plans because, so my first banana bread basically crumbled when I tried to take it out of the pan. So this time I'm gonna do it in the pan that I'm actually gonna throw it to them. Um, I don't know why I didn't do that the first time, but I'm also not seeing Jack until like Monday when I was gonna cut out so maybe see him tomorrow or like Saturday. So, um, I might ask Jason to see if I can go, at least go put it at their house so they can have it right away. But I'm going to message Jason once I put this in the oven because it takes about an hour. So, we'll see. Yeah, that's the update. So, I am going over to Jack's house to drop off his banana bread. But I decided I'm going to, like, decorate it before, like, saran wrap the whole thing. So, we have banana bread from Kermit's Kitchen. I'm just gonna like kind of work these pieces and just kind of tape them together to make kind of like a cool collage, I guess. But I'm gonna put this little sign, like surprise, welcome home, surprise in the fridge. Cause I'm gonna put it in the fridge just to make sure it stays nice. Um, I wrote Jack a letter and then I printed out some pictures of myself because Jack's like that. I don't think I'll put this in his letter. I think I'll put it like in his room. So, yeah. I can smell the banana. <laughs> Very strong. Alright. Let's try and decorate this thing, I guess. All right, I am heading on out. Um, I got my freezy. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, I have made it. I have broken to their house. So I'm just gonna put this stuff. There's their dog, uh, Tucker. That scared me. Yeah, so let's go. I just did like a kind of little walkthrough to kind of see what it would look like when he comes in. Um, and then I put it in the fridge like <laughs> so that you can see it. So now we're going to take the pictures and put them in his room. So in return, I wanted to steal a sweatshirt. Um, I can't find any because all of his, like the clothes in the closet is not like his. Um, there is a sweatshirt on the floor that I know is his, but it looks like it's in like a pile. I'm not sure what that pile means. If it's like clothes for him to wear when he gets back. Yeah, looks like it. So I don't want to steal the sweatshirt. Or should I just swap the one that I have on? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go just drench this in like my perfume. And then lay it back. Just to be funny. So, I'll be back. We sprayed it with my perfume. I also accidentally hit my horn. Oh my gosh. Scared. Scared for my life. But <laughs> Jack might think I'm creepy, 
I'm not sure which way this is gonna go. Either think that it's cute or creepy. And I really hope it's cute because I'm just trying to be funny. But I also want a sweatshirt that smells like him because he's been gone for almost two weeks and I don't got anything. Sorry, Jack, I didn't wash it. <laughs> I wasn't planning on stealing your sweatshirt. Sorry, Jack. I'll give it back someday. Okay. Now we're just gonna leave it pretty much everything how it was left. So this door, except for the stuff that I added and the stuff I stole, but you know, might as well. Um, I'm going, they have applesauce here and they've never eaten it. I was the first one to, so I'm gonna take the other one because I'm really hungry for the road. And I don't think they would mind. Literally the only one that's ever been eaten was the one that I had, so. Thank you guys. Get with me. <laughs> I'll take the trash with me so it's not in your trash. All right, got the goods. This watcher, applesauce. He's got some banana bread. Life is good, and the door is locked, so don't you worry. This is like this six or seven time. Actually, I think it's only the third time that I've been here without Jack. This is the first time I've been here without anybody here feels a little weird um don't really like it because it's not my house so i feel like i'm just kind of like intruding um this sweatshirt smells like jack makes me happy because i won't see him for a few days now so it's something to steal in the meantime now i just can't take pictures in them until he gets home my bad but <laughs> it's okay Okay, so I'm home. I thought this was really funny to add is, so I texted Jason just being like, oh yeah, the package, his gift was dropped off and the door is locked, so all's good. And he's like, he, I'll put it up right here, but he's like, I don't know what Jack did to deserve you. And I'm like, you know, but then I was like, I might as well add that I swap sweatshirts and stole an applesauce and he goes, good for you. <laughs> That is my favorite thing. Um, also, this sweatshirt kind of smells like him. It's like, the thing is, he has a smell, but then he like cleans laundry. So he has like a clean laundry smell <laughs> and it still smells like him. It's just more laundry scented. And then he has like pure Jack smell. So this is, this was definitely washed, but you know what? I'm not complaining. It is great. I just wanted to clarify for everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's the end of this. So thanks for coming along.